Hey guys, it's Chris. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to make graffiti writing in Adobe After Effects CS3. Okay, so we wanna do first off is make a new composition and if we preset, change it to NTSDV, and we'll call this writing. Okay, now just press enter or oh, okay um okay so now take the text tool and write whatever you want now um for doing this choose a font i've got a graffiti font called tags extreme i'll post a link for that in the description and if you've got vista all you need to do is right click on it and click install or if you're on xp you'll have to drag it into the main fonts folder which is in um, control panel okay so just write whatever you want I'm gonna keep it really basic and by basic I mean yeah really easy to do okay now if you select it like that and click over here you can change the color of the font if you didn't know how to do that okay so take the pen tool which is up here and start from top here remember it doesn't have to be perfect like you can go up then down for that part. Just go work your way back up. Okay. So yeah, that was real easy. So now what you want to do is go to effects, generate, and stroke. Now increase the brush size to about ten points something. Whatever, at least it covers up the text, you just want that. Uh, that'll do. Okay, so now you just want to take off the mask. And if you go to this drop down box right here, choose reveal original image. Okay, so what you want to do from right just lower that so it shows two seconds All right set a well change the end to zero to zero sorry put a stopwatch there over two seconds to 100 percent okay well, let's view that Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now we're just going to keep it really basic at the moment. You can add um, pictures to it. All you need to do is just um, it's like double click in here and I'll just bring out an example for Meanwhile, um, just want to lower this down. Okay. And I'm going to choose the text to be on top of this layer. So, oh wait, I haven't done it. Didn't go on top. There we go. Okay, nice. 
So that's looking pretty good. Okay, so to save it, you go to File, Export, and I like to save it as QuickTime Movie so it has the best quality for everything. So just click OK and save. Alright, peace out guys, thanks for watching this tutorial.